channel it's Monique here and I'm coming to you guys today with a vlog because I was just recently at Otacon Vegas and it was a lot of fun and I just I want to talk about it so I hope you guys will let me just kind of word vomit all over the place here because I just want to talk about how much fun I had <laughs> so if you like vlogs then go ahead and stay tuned and if you don't like vlogs um, I will have another speed drawing up next week so stay tuned for that as well yeah let's get into it Alright, so I was at Oticon in Las Vegas. It was held at the Planet Hollywood, and I came into this con assuming a lot of things that didn't actually happen. Um, I thought it was going to be a much bigger con than my last one because the venue is Planet Hollywood, and that's like a casino on the strip, so I assumed it was going to be a lot bigger, um, but the con was actually really small, and... It was a lot of fun, and I am glad I went, but I feel like there wasn't as much people there as there should have been, and I feel like there wasn't as much interest in the artist alley in general. I feel like a lot of the people who came either maybe might have been too young and didn't have the money to spend on the artist alley, or had different priorities and wanted to spend it more in the dealer's hall, but regardless, I just feel like there wasn't a lot of interest going into the artist alley in general. So that kind of set the mood for the whole weekend. No one was really getting a whole lot of business, which I know the main reason, at least for me, the main reason I go to conventions is to make money, which it may sound horrible, but that's the truth. I mean, I don't do art for money. I do art because I love it, but I do go to conventions to try to sell my art and try to get my name out there. Um, and I feel like that kind of fell short. But the other reason I go to conventions is to, uh, network and meet other artists and collaborate and stuff like that. And this con was amazing in that aspect. I met so many amazing artists and so many just amazing people and I'm really glad that I went because of that reason alone. So um, it was worthwhile definitely just in a different way than I was expecting. Um, so yeah. One of the cool things that did happen at this convention was because none of us were really doing that great, there were a lot of art trades going on. Now, I wasn't in an artist alley at my last convention. I was actually at a vendor's table, so I'm not sure if this is something that happens a lot, but the feeling was definitely different compared to artist alley and vendor table. And I feel like there was a lot of like camaraderie that was happening in the artist alley this time. So there's a lot of art trades going on, back and forth. I feel like people, and I know I didn't at least, I didn't want to hang on to all the stuff that I got printed, and my printed stuff wasn't really moving at all. I was doing some on-site commissions, but I really wanted to get rid of some of the prints that I got. So it was really cool to kind of swap with other artists, and I am going to show you guys some of the stuff that I got, either through buying or through trading, because I got some amazing things. And of course, I will have all of the information in the box below, so you can go check out all of these amazing artists and give them some love. So yeah, let's get right into that. Alright, the first thing I want to show you guys is this artist right here. Unfortunately, I only got this business card, but... This is Vincent Ramos, Ramos, I'm, I'm not trying to pronounce your last name, I'm sorry, um, but this, this guy is amazing, and also his girlfriend is an artist too, and they were at the convention together selling both of their art, and one thing that I, I actually went and bought this, like the second day of the convention, because I just had to have it, is this book right here, it's so cute, like, I don't want to show you guys too much of it, but it's basically a little book written and illustrated by both of them, just about cute little things in their relationship, and it's all like little comic strips. So I will show you guys the first page. If you can kind of read that. I hope that's readable. Can make that out. But it's just a whole bunch of cute little pages and little comics about just cute things in the relationship and it's just like the cutest freaking thing I've ever seen and I love this book so much and their art of course is adorable they're both amazing artists so I did that and then I actually went back and commissioned them now for those of you who stuck through my live stream toward the end you all met Austin who is my fiance um something about Austin is that he's a rock climber so I went up to 
these guys and I was like, I want to I wanna commission you guys, but I have an interesting commission and let me know if you guys can do it. Um, I want Austin rock climbing and I want me as a little fairy flying behind him. And they did it. And I'm going to show you guys right now. How cute is that? They did it. They did exactly what I wanted and it looks so freaking cute. But not only that, they did this one. And they also did this one. So they did two commissions for me and they both look so fantastic. And now that I have this video filmed, I'm going to mat them and hang them on my wall because I love them like more than life. I'm so freaking happy about these. So this is like my favorite part of the con was, I'm sorry, I'm just really emotional about these. They're so cute. <laughs> And another thing that they did for me that was really sweet, but they didn't have to do it, is Janet Chan, who is the other the girl in their relationship, who also wrote the book, she comes over to me the last day of the con and is like, I want you to have this t-shirt. And I'm like, what? Look how cute this is. It is such a pretty Sailor Moon and it's a v-neck, which is like, I only wear v-necks. And I just love this shirt so much. I'm gonna wear this so often and it's so cute and I just, Last thing from them, like, there's a lot of stuff from these guys because they were really great and I'm really appreciative for all the stuff that they gave me. But I also got this little print for Austin because he loves Star Wars, as I do, but he ultimately loves it a lot more than I do. Um, but I got this little print of BB-8 and an Ewok and I think it's the cutest thing ever. It's so cute. So I got that too. Alright, so the next artist that I treated with goes with the name of Wisp Will, and the first thing I got was this cute little charm. As you see, on one side is Princess Zelda, and on the other side it's Sheik! Isn't that so cute? And it's the little charm so I can hang it like wherever, but I just love that this was double-sided. I hope you guys can see this, I hope it's not blurry. Ugh. But I just thought this was the cutest little thing ever. And then, I also got a hard copy of her comic. Gosh, look how pretty this art is. Can you guys see this? Can you guys see how pretty this art is? Oh my god, I was dying. Just look at all of this. It's so gorgeous. I haven't actually sat down and read it yet, but I will read like the little prologue thing. It's called King's Folly, by the way. That's kind of important. King's Folly by she goes by Wisp Will, and I will have her information below as well. But Chapter 1, two princes escape the fall of their kingdom and delve into the unknown. The eldest prince, Elliot, holds a secret that will be the key to stopping the never-ending nightmare. Updates weekly online at kingsfolly.com. So you can read this online. Please go read this online. Please support this amazing artist. She's incredible and she's such a sweet person. I, she was so sweet. So, yes. All right, now this next artist is actually another artist here on YouTube. Her YouTube name is Sherub Gem. This is her adorable business card. She also has um, a Redbubble, which is redbubble.com slash people slash Sherub Gem. And she gave me this really pretty print of Princess Serenity. Woo! I love it. And the quality of her prints are so nice. I love this so much. And another cool thing is she's another local artist here in Vegas. So hopefully we can do more cons together. That would be so great because she's such a sweet person. She and her friend, oh my gosh, what's her name? Leanne? Leanne? Leanne. Leanne the alien. I hope I'm pronouncing her name right, oh my gosh. Um, but her website is leannecox.com and I will also have that down below but they were at a booth together, so hopefully I will see them both in the future because they were so sweet, so nice, and <laughs> the funny thing about this artist is she actually does custom body pillows, which I thought was such a funny and such a unique idea. So yes, definitely go check out these artists as well. All right, so this next artist is also on YouTube. She goes by the name Suzu Shu, I think. I think that's right. This is all of her information. Again, it will be down below. And she makes really cute, like, polymer clay charms. I hope you guys can see that. This one's a little coffee cup. And they're really cute. And she has, like, a whole bunch of characters and a whole bunch of, like, 
cute things and I really love them. But she does like tutorials and speed paints on her YouTube channel, so definitely go check her out as well. Alright, so this next artist goes by the name Sew It All Creations and she makes really adorable hats and I did an art trade for one. I'm so happy about. It's an alpaca hood. Isn't this the cutest thing you've ever seen? And it has little... Ah. No, could I beat you? It has like little hand pockets and it's so soft and so cute and I'm just like... I'm so in love with this, it's ridiculous. So definitely go check her out and she has like little bear hats and all kinds of just adorable hats in different colors and shapes. But this was ultimately my favorite and it's just so soft and so cute and I feel adorable in it, oh my god. All right, now the next thing that I have is actually not from an artist from the Artist Alley. They were a vendor at the vendor's booth and their name is Body Vangelo. And that's their business card. Shoot. <laughs> Body Vangelo. And the thing I bought from them is something I've been wanting to buy for the longest time. And I'm so glad that I found them because I'll just show you guys. You'll see. I have been wanting a pair of ear cuffs for the longest time and I'm so happy that I found these because I think they're so pretty and so well made. Just look at these. I was seconds away from buying a matching circlet but that would have put me over the edge and I would have made no profit over the weekend so I had to stick with the ear cuffs this time but I really hope I find them at another convention so I can buy the matching circlet eventually because it's so pretty as well. And just, let's take a minute and just like appreciate these real quick. So yeah, that was, these are my favorite things that I actually bought over the weekend and I just I'm going to wear them like every day from now on and I'm probably gonna buy a lot more from them because they're so pretty and I am so weak Whew. now the next thing I'm gonna show you guys actually has a little bit of a story behind it so it was the first day of the con and I'm seeing all these people walking around with these like cubes that look like the mystery blocks from Mario so these group of guys combined, they all have one, and I asked them, like, what are, the, what are the cubes about? What are those? I I had no idea. And they tell me they're, like, mystery boxes. So you buy one, and it has, like, all this just random nerd stuff in it, and I am so weak for mystery boxes like that. So I was like, oh my gosh, I need one. And they're all telling me, you know, go buy one, go buy one. But I told them, I can't because I haven't made much money yet and I at least need to make the money back from the table before I go and buy one. So what these guys did honestly almost made me cry. It was so sweet. They all like pool their money and come up with ideas of what they want to commission me and they all play Magic the Gathering and I sell trading cards. So they all commissioned me to make them some trading cards and with the money from the commissions I was able to go buy a mystery box. And if any of you guys are watching this video, I just want to shout out and say thank you for that. Because that honestly, like, made my entire weekend. Like, it was just so cool. So, I'm going to show you guys what I got in the box because I got a really good one. And, yeah, let's get to it. So, this is the box. I don't know if you can see all of it, but it's a good sized box. And I'm going to keep the box because I think it's, like, the cutest thing. And I just, I love it. So, this is the box that I got. <laughs> So the first thing I pulled out of the box was this gigantic Domo plushie. He's huge and so huggable. I love this thing so much. And he has like padded feet so he can stand up on his own. So he, so he has these padded feet so I'm just going to like keep him on my desk and he's just going to watch over me. and be my artistic muse, I guess, but I love him. <laughs> so the second thing I got in this box, 
I may actually like more than the Domo. It's a postcard book of awkward family photos. And it's ridiculous how much I love this. It has like 35 just awkward family photos. And I think it's the best thing ever. I'm gonna put it on my coffee table and it'll be like a conversation starter. Just look at these. I have no comment. I just, this book makes me laugh like so much. <laughs> Another thing I got was this really cool Game of Thrones shot glass with House Targaryen symbol on it. I love this. This is really cool. Um, I don't drink shots much myself, but I can drink orange juice from it. So the last thing I got from this little mystery box is this. This. <laughs> this is the package that it came in. There was no other information about this. I just like this. So you open it up, I can, and